Thanks, thanks. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sorry. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the project's called uh, Names is Improving Teacher Feedbacks in Science Learning. It is participation with me, Lev, Eugene Young, and Jonathan Ribello. And so, um, well, first, first of all, we should uh, explain what is Agave. Agave is a smartphone-based adaptive learning system being developed by Science Voice. It is a platform to address educational challenges in resource limited areas. It employs uh, smartphones to offer adaptive environment learnings, providing a personalized talking and uh, teaching environment, even in contest with limited infrastructure. Imagine being being able to offer immediate feedback to students, no matter where they are. Where they are. So the question is, uh, it is simple to use. Uh, uh, most of the features it is related to actionable analytics. Uh, we can use it anywhere that there are a variability of building blocks. Um, uh, the good thing it is uh, we can use it in low bandwidth, low electricity, and low income areas. So the project overview and goals, we're using a data set from a physics class at the University of the Virgin Island, Island uh, late 20, 2020. The main goal it is to understand the student competence in the physical skills and concepts, uh, the importance of real-time insights provided by Gavin or an assistant tool for educators, because they help teachers comprehend students and learning patterns and provide personalized feedback based on real-time performance. This personalized approach allows the depth in uh, teaching strategies to enhance students' engagement and comprehension. So the, it is a uh, it is good to know that the, this project it is a methodology project aimed at developing uh, developing improved data and rendering for real time use. Because the the platform that was captured the does not provide the real time uh, data sets because uh, that's the difficult part of the project. So the context, um, how, how can I explain the importance of contextual insights, how real time insights in aid educators in understanding students' late learning patterns, customized feedback for individual students based on the real time performance, tailoring teaching strategies for better engagement and comprehension. So, why feedback matters. Uh, the algorithm development is pivotal in gaining um, insights into student skills. We're going beyond traditional markers such as points and percentages, aiming to understand individual students' progress. So Agave utilize the teacher's perspective to analyze data. That's the that's the good part, providing more meaning insights into students' development. So the outbreak system is user friendly and provides actionable analytics accessible from from anywhere. All right. Uh, some of the tools that we are using that I've learned that I learned. So we're using Python to clean up the data set, we use GitHub to project management, and we have scheduled meetings. Um, uh, once time a week with the uh, with the research team, we have a good communication, F communication, and we have the 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 necessary tools to to make the progress uh, the necessary progress. So, why the feedback is important? So, uh, as I said, the algorithm development for enhancing sites, the the idea is to generate meaningful insights to into students' skills and abilities to in order to understand what they where where they got stuck, where they where they failed and why they failed. So the the data sets can can say can say this to us. So how can our, how algorithms can provide deeper insights into individual students' progress? Uh, and the platform use the teacher's POV call. Uh, that's the uh real necessary parts of the of the of the the project because the teachers povs helps us to understand the the failures and why these students got stuck okay 
that's the main pro that's the main project features. So the implications for education enhancements, the, the real insights from real time analysis can improve teaching methodologies that we are such, we are looking forward to the best methodology to understand the, the difficulties of the students, why they are they are failing to adapt curriculum to address specific students' needs and weaknesses. So we have a logic prototype to understand why they failed and how to answer these kinds of questions. So we are looking for reforcing a more effective learning environments through data driving chains. Okay, that's one of the of the of the results that uh, that I produced, it is a, a dashboard in Excel that that means the the attempts of the students relate uh, in relationship with the this lesson attempt and the question attempt uh, relating to each student, each individual students, and the median quantity of attempts per test. So we can. We can affirm some kind, uh, a lot of, a lot of insights. So, the some students got stuck because they don't know the formula, they don't know the, the how to do the calculation, and they don't know the units. Uh, and and this is our our main goal: how to know, how to comprehend, and. Uh, where the students got stuck in units. That's the that's our next step in our research project. Uh, that's other insight made by me. That is uh, a relation that affirms that why the students complete the test, why they don't, uh, why the test is incomplete, and. It is related to the lesson attempt with the question number. How to how these students uh, failed in this in, in these examples, and our next step. So the goal would be to identify methods that not only that not only provide accurate feedback on teachers' understanding of scientific concepts, so but also offer actionable insights to enhance their teaching strategies. That's that's our our goal. So the cleaning the physics class data set is vital for accurate insights. And that means that we need to go you know on in our cleanup day in our cleanup working. So we need to remove errors in relevant relevant info forming a reliable foundation for an analysis so um we have a lot of work to do but we we make some progress we made some progress so this improves conclusions about teaching strategies and educators needs uh, that's our team our research team um, I would like to to thank Lev, you change and Jonathan. Unfortunately, they are not present here, but I would like to talk. I would like to to thank their support. Their support. They are. They were really, really good on their jobs. So I would like to thank him. Then. All right, that's it, guys. I will thank you for. For your attention, I'm looking forward for your your your, your questions and that's it. Obrigado. <laughs> great job, Leonardo. And actually, Lev Thanks. and Jonathan are both in the meeting right now. So oh, that's great. I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> um, I think before we get to the first questions with hands raised, I see one that came in from the chat from Sib Sonker. Um, he asked, "Can a similar model be implemented for public outreach to assess understanding and engagement, if not on offline, at least in online outreach?" That's okay. Can a similar model be done for our public outreach to assess, understand, and engage me if not offline at least in online at least outreach? Uh, it would be. It could be potentially, uh, but I don't know how to, how to, how to answer uh, this question because um, how can we? Okay. Okay, Lab, thanks. <laughs> that's the Lab said that that's the idea behind the gap long term. It is a long term pros, uh, project. Mm. 
Awesome. Well, I guess a question for me, Leonardo. Um, okay. The global population is very quickly growing. And okay. you know, so I, I, we see a lot of need for, for technology developments like this, not just for areas with lower income and lower access, but across the entire planet as populations continue to burgeon, putting right. even more stressors onto education systems. Um, I'm wondering if you can help us to see where this work goes into the future of education. So, for instance, where do you personally see um, technology development for education, let's say, 25 years from now? Uh, where I see, where I see myself. Yeah, where, where you see any use of this technology for education in the next quarter? I see, oh, I see. I can see. I can see the future because uh, the the rates of the, the there were an, an increase of of the the use of platforms right uh, during the last years. So probably. It will be some classes will be substituted by the this kind of platform. So I believe that it would be how can I say that it would it would be good and but not do not replace the class the 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 room place class. So the question is the how to comprehend and to improve this kind of process. That's the question. Uh, in twenty-five years, what can, uh, what will be the changes? What will be the the transformations? And we can. We, we, are we talking uh, in in large scale? We're talking uh, about Brazil. We're talking about U.S. We're talking about about what? So, it is it is a a good question. Thanks for asking this. Mm -hmm.